So finally, at last, Tesla have sorted out their auto wipers. So why have Tesla auto wipers never really worked? Well, the issue is Tesla don't use a rain sensor on their windscreens. Instead, they've been trying to rely on the camera up there and it's taken them a very long time to get that to work properly. 90% of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed. I'm sorry to ask, but it would help greatly if you would. Just press the subscribe button. It's free and it shows YouTube you like this sort of vehicle related content. If you want to be notified when new videos are released, please click on the bell button also. Thank you, it really helps more than you would imagine. So finally, the auto wipers on a Tesla are now working. It's taken Tesla a very long time to get these auto wipers to work. I've personally never found it the huge issue that the internet says it is. Because you can press the button on the end of the stalk to bring up your wiper controls and then you can adjust whether you want them on, off or change the speed as I'm doing now. So if auto isn't working for you, you can just select one of the other intermittent speeds. However, I would agree that Tesla have taken an awful long time to get the auto wipers to work properly. So, why have Tesla struggled so much to get this to work? Well, as I said, they're using just the cameras at the top of the screen there. And those cameras aren't looking out the whole windscreen like you are as a driver. They're just looking out a small section of glass at the top of the screen here. And if you see raindrops across the windscreen, of course the camera isn't seeing that. The camera's only seeing what's on the glass in this little section up here. But of course that's no different to a vehicle that's got a rain sensor up here. But it's all about the focal length. And of course you can see the most minute water drop on the glass when you're sat in your driver's seat. But if you had your eyes only an inch away from that glass, even the smallest water drops will be quite a struggle to see. Because of course those cameras are focusing on what's ahead of you out there on the road. So a good way of demonstrating this is when you wear glasses. So my glasses are pretty dirty, they've got fingerprints and dust on, and before you put them on they look filthy, but when you're wearing them you see through it and you can't see it because it's out of your focal length. And I've put some water on that right hand lens, there's actually some on the left hand lens now because it's drizzling. But from a distance you can see, I'm not sure whether the camera's focusing on that, but you can see the water. But of course when you put them on, if I put them on the camera lens, which I've got to do them at 90 degrees, but you can no longer see that water. And that's the effect that the Tesla camera is seeing. So you can sort of understand why Tesla has struggled with this, making the camera do the auto wipers, and it's clearly been a struggle for them. But in summer 2024, they seem to have finally cracked it. I'm on version 2024.20.7. I think they sorted it one or two versions before that. It was a minor update, it just said, bug fixes but one of those bug fixes was the auto wipers and they do seem to be working well now as you can see there's not much rain they're occasionally swiping it's getting it about right but this weekend I did two three and a half hour journeys so um, seven hours of driving in total all the time with the auto wipers on Majority of the time was in rain, sometimes heavy rain, sometimes drizzle, occasionally no rain, and I didn't touch the wipers once. The auto wipers worked almost perfectly all the time. And when they weren't perfect, they weren't bad enough that I had to go to the stalk to do a swipe or to adjust it. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up because that really does help. Do subscribe to the channel and if you want to know more about the Tesla Model Y there's a link below to a playlist where you can see all the other videos I've made and I can see there there is another software update to you so uh, Tesla have really been active recently with the updates and this later one again is minor fixes so let me just get that installing and I'll see you on the next one.